In this video today, we're going to show you how to start your school issued Chromebook and get it started so you can log into Canvas and start learning with us. First, you're going to open your school issued Chromebook. Once you open it, it should power on. If for some reason it does not, you're going to want to go to the side of your Chromebook and hit the power button. As it's loading, it is going to prompt you to sign on. If you have a school issued QR code, you can go ahead and use that by clicking next and your camera should start up. Then you're going to hold up your QR code and your Chromebook will start to log you in. It may take a few seconds, so please be patient. Once it has logged you in, you'll click get started. And Canvas will pop up. At this time, your student should be logged into their Canvas account. At this time, if you don't have your school issued QR code, you're going to click sign in with a different account. Once you've clicked that, it will prompt you to enter your school email account, which was given by the school. If for some reason you do not have this or cannot remember it, please contact your student's teacher or the school so we can get you that information. I'll go ahead and type in my school email. Here you'll see at yswpcs.org is a setting, so you will not need to include that in your email. You'll click next, and at this time it's going to prompt you to enter your password. Please, once again, make sure you have your password for your student's email, and if you do not, please contact your student's teacher or the school. Then I'll click next. And again, it may take a few seconds to load. Once it has loaded, I will click Get Started and Canvas will appear. If I am using a non-issued school computer or my own personal computer from home for online learning, please be advised that you will have to open up a web browser to access Canvas. Once you open up a web browser, you're going to go to our school's main page for the website, yswpcs.org. Once I am redirected to the school's main homepage, I'm going to go to the top right corner of the page and click on Canvas. Then that link will redirect me to my Canvas account to access my live sessions and course content. Please be advised that you will need to type in your school email address and password to log into Canvas to access all live sessions and course content. Now that I'm in Canvas, I can see my classes and my live sessions for Zoom. Here is the dashboard in Canvas. When I log into Canvas, this is what I will see. Over to the left, I'm going to see the class that I am enrolled in, whether that be kindergarten, first grade, second grade, or any other grade level up until eighth grade. To access my Zoom links or my course content, I'm going to click on my class. Once I've clicked on my class, I'll see a few things on this page. The first thing I'll see is Zoom. To access my live sessions, I will be using this Zoom icon. To access teacher pages, course content, and assignments, I'm going to find my teacher, and then I will find the class that I want to access. By clicking any of these hyperlinks, I will be redirected to that course to be able to view the content and any assignments within that course. Down below, I'll also be able to see a copy of my student schedule. Along here, I'll see the days of the week. Across the top, 
I'll be seeing the periods. I'll also be able to see that lunch period and any open periods throughout my school day. And all the way down, I will see links and applications for other platforms that are your student or that our school has access to. By clicking any of these, I will be redirected to those platforms. At that time, you will be using the same login and should not have to resubmit a login since you are already accessing them through Canvas. Now I'm going to scroll to the top to show you what Zoom's going to look like to access again those live class sessions. Once I click on the Zoom icon, I will be redirected. Here I can see each day of the week. I can see my live lesson is my topic and I'm going to click join. At the end of the day, this will go away and the next date will pop up. To view recordings from live sessions, I will click on cloud recordings. And you can see right now I don't have any recordings, but in the future I will. Those recordings will be up for the first week. After the week is over, those recordings will go away and then new recordings from the new week will pop up. Due to storage, we can only store our recordings for up to a week. To return to the dashboard, again, I'll click dashboard, click my class, and again, I go to my page where all of the information that I need to access is available. To access, once again, classroom pages, course content, assignments, I'll use these hyperlinks to click on the content that I'd like to see. For example, if I'd like to go to art class to view assignments, content, or anything Ms. Lande has posted, I will click on art, and then I will see the art course and the art page. Each course will have different information and assignments posted within them. So to view them, I will click them from my last page. Again, to go back, I'll click on the dashboard, click my course, and here I have access to all of my content areas, teachers, and my live Zoom links. This is just a quick, short tutorial of what Canvas will look like on the first day of school and for the remainder of the school year. Once again, teacher pages for each course area will look a little bit different, but our teachers will be spending time to walk our students through those pages during the first week of school.